Can a princess become the hero in her own story? If you read The Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman, illustrated by Chris Riddell, you just might find out. The Sleeper and the Spindle is a gorgeously rewritten fairy tale about Snow White and Sleeping Beauty. The story occurs after Snow White has been woken up by her prince. She is on the verge of marrying her prince. She's already the queen of her own kingdom and has been ruling in her own right for about a year or so. This is all going down when she finds out that there is some sort of sleeping plague in the next kingdom over. This is when she does the unthinkable. Instead of calling her prince, she calls the dwarves, her friends, to come with her to check out the problem in this new kingdom. That is the setup for this story. Uh, it's quite exciting, but even better than the gorgeously written fairy tale. We have these amazing illustrations. They're dark, they're fun, they're creative. Um, the look of Snow White in this story is, is a more gothic look, very um, uh, graphic novel friendly. We also have these amazing scenes like this. Um, they definitely work with the fairy tale setting. So if you're interested in reading a rewritten fairy tale that really puts the princess at the forefront, oh, sorry, she's a queen now, at the story, you're going to enjoy this. So can Snow White rescue Sleeping Beauty from the sleeping sickness? You'll have to read to find out.